An Amazon personal account is what most of us use for everyday shopping. It's straightforward, easy to use, and perfect for individuals and families. On the other hand, an Amazon business account is designed specifically for businesses. It offers a range of features and benefits tailored to the needs of business owners, including bulk purchasing, business-only pricing, reporting tools, and much more. But the question is, which one should you choose? Let's break it down. Remember, if you want to sign up for either one of these services, I will leave the official link in the description so you don't have difficulty finding it on Google. First up, let's talk about the Amazon personal account. This is the standard account that most of us use for their everyday shopping. With a personal account, you can access millions of products, get fast shipping with Amazon Prime, and use services like Amazon Music, Prime Videos, and Kindle Unlimited. Personal accounts are perfect for individual customers who want a seamless shopping experience with a variety of entertainment options. What is an Amazon Business Account? Now let's switch gears and talk about Amazon Business. This account is designed for businesses of all sizes, from startup to large enterprises. With an Amazon business account, you get access to exclusive business-only pricing and discounts on bulk orders. Another major advantage of business account is that you can claim tax exemption on your orders. This feature alone is the most valuable feature for business account users. Next, we also get multi-user account with approval workflow. That is, you can approve and reject the orders that your team placed on behalf of your company. It also provides detailed spending reports and analytics. If you have an Amazon Business Amex card, then you are eligible to get 5% cash back or you can pay after 90 days. Not just that, you can also get 45 to 60 days of credit line to spend. Amazon also has business prime plans that vary from country to country. Also, if you have prime on your personal account and you convert that to a business account, you will get the benefit of an Amazon Business Duo account for free. If we talk about the account creation process of Amazon Business account, then it's quite simple. I'm assuming you already know how to create the personal one. For Amazon business, something to note is that you need to have a GST number or business plan for the account creation process. You can also use your personal plan to create the account. Now, documents may vary depending on the country you sign up from. However, the process remains the same. So after clicking the link in the description, you will be taken to this where you can choose your country. Then you will be taken to Amazon's official page. If you are signed in, it will ask you to convert your existing Amazon account. Doing so will also give you the prime benefits on business if you already have the prime subscription on the personal one. If you want to create a fresh one, then you can do so from here. On the next page, we have to enter our name and set the password. It will send an OTP for verification and putting that here will take us to this page where we have to provide all the details. Enter the phone number here. To verify our business, we have two options. Now again, this may vary country to country. Select the one that suits your case. In India, they ask for GST or business PAN. You can also use your PAN card if you are a freelancer. Enter that below and the address below that and click create account. It will take a couple of seconds to verify and the account will be created. See how easy it was. Who should use which account? I think it's a no-brainer which one is for you. If you are an individual who uses Amazon for personal shopping, entertainment and everyday needs, then a personal account is for you. And if you have a business and you want to take advantage of bulk discounts, tax exemption, reports, analytics and credit lines, then you must go with business account. Even if you are an individual who wants to take advantage of business deals, then you can sign up for the business account too. Again, you can do so from the description below. However, that's it for today. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you still have any doubts, you can leave them down in the comments so that the community and I can help you. If you want to create a custom business email, this video will definitely help. And if you are looking for unlimited cloud storage for your business, then there you go. Like, share, subscribe. Stay safe. Bye-bye.